In this video, we present our preferred method of fixing an unstable osteochondritis desiccans of the knee. Most commonly, the lesions are found in the lateral aspects of the medial femoral condyle, as seen on these images. In unstable lesions, fluid can be seen on the MRI scans as a white line behind the fragment. The OCD lesion is evaluated arthroscopically. Sometimes the cartilage of the fragment is intact. Other times the OCD lesion presents itself with a breach of the cartilage and opening into the subchondral bone. The first step of the operation is to hinge open the fragment to gain access to the sclerotic necrosis in the subchondral bone. Sometimes the fragment may be opened easily with a blunt instrument and the sclerotic non-union in the bone is readily visible. Other times the fragment is covered with intact cartilage which needs to be cut free with a blade to facilitate opening the lesion. After incising the cartilage, the fragment may be opened safely, leaving it hinged on one side to avoid losing it in the joint. Once the fragment is hinged open, the bed of the lesion is available for debridement. This is a crucial step of the operation. All the dead tissue and sclerosis in the bed needs to be removed, for example with a ring curette. We do not recommend simply fixating the lesion in situ without taking the effort to prepare the bed of the lesion. The back of the lesion is also debrided. Once the sclerosis and dead tissue is removed, the bed is microfractured with a power pick to increase vascularity to the lesion. The power pick has a 4mm drill tip that can be engaged once the instrument is inside the joint, avoiding damaging structures on the way in. The OCD is like a non-union. For unknown reasons, there has been no union of the lesion naturally, and the microfacturing helps vascularize the bed to aid union. The back side of the fragment may also be microfactured if there is enough bone. Once the bed and back side of the lesion has been prepared, the fragment is reduced back into its bed. The fragment should lie flush with the surrounding healthy cartilage. The fragment is then fixed with 1.1 mm guide wires. A minimum of two wires should be used to secure rotation. The fragment is now ready to be fixed with the 3 mm headless compression screws. The first guide wire is over drilled with a 2 mm cannulated drill bit through the fragment and into the subchondral bone. The self-tapping cannulated headless compression screw is then screwed into the lesion. The compression sleeve is attached to the screw. When the compression sleeve reaches the cartilage, it pushes the fragment into the bone as the screw is advanced, causing compression of the fragment. The compression sleeve pushes the fragment into the bed and when sufficient compression is achieved the sleeve is removed and the screw is advanced to lie beneath the cartilage surface. When all the screws have been safely buried beneath the cartilage surface the fragment is inspected to ensure there is no catchment of the screws during range of motion. We trust this firm fixation to allow partial weight bearing and early range of motion and strength exercises. Union takes about 6 to 8 weeks.